We are working closely with ESCOM on proposal to improve its financial position, to manage its debt, and reduce its dependence on the fiscals. This requires a review of the tariff path to ensure that it reflects all the reasonable costs and measures to resolve the problem of municipal debt as well. In December 2020, government and its social partners signed the historic ESCOM social compact, which outlines the necessary actions we must take collectively and as individual constituencies to meet the country's energy needs now and into the future. Now, over the last year, we've taken action to urgently and substantially increase generation capacity in addition to what ESCOM generates. The Department of Mineral Resources and Energy will soon be announcing the successful bids for 2,000 megawatts of emergency power that our country needs. The necessary regulations have been amended and the requirements clarified for municipalities to buy power from independent power producers. Systems are being put in place to support qualifying municipalities. Government will soon be initiating the procurement of an additional 11,800 megawatts of power from renewable energy, natural gas, battery storage, and coal in line with the integrated resource plan of 2019. Despite this work, ESCOM estimates that without additional capacity, there will be an electricity supply shortfall of between 4,000 and 6,000 megawatts over the next five years as our old coal-fired power stations reach the end of their life. As part of the measures to address this shortfall, we will, in the coming weeks, issue a request for proposals for 2,600 megawatts from wind and solar energy as part of bid window five. This will be followed by another bid window in August of 2021. Now, recent analysis suggests that easing licensing requirements for new embedded generation projects could unlock up to 5,000 megawatts of additional capacity and also help to ease the impact of load shedding. We will therefore amend Schedule 2 of the Electricity Regulation Act within the next three months to increase the licensing threshold for embedded generation. 